Hey, bada bada, hey, bada bada, swing! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie, and today we are watching A League of Their Own. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here, and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into a sports movie, a heartwarming sports movie, and that is A League of Their Own. Truthfully, when I got into this movie, I really didn't know much about it, aside from the fact that a lot of people had requested me to watch this one. It had been on my list for some time now, and I thought that it had to do with baseball because of the term league. Although thinking about it now, there's probably other sports that utilize terminologies like league, but I, I just assumed it was about baseball and I was right. That was pretty much all I knew about this movie going into it. I thought it would be funny and it definitely was, but man, I was not expecting this movie to move me quite so much as it did. I definitely got a little emotional with this one, which really isn't anything new. But yeah, basically when you center a story around um, sisterly love or sisterly drama, um, issues with two sisters, I'm gonna be a mess. That's just a recipe for me to be, be a, a puddle on the floor. I have a younger sister and I have no other siblings. And so anytime I see that dynamic specifically in movies and it feels even remotely close to my dynamic at all with my sister, I just melt and, and I'm a mess. Like I literally remember I watched Frozen with my sister in the theaters. We both went to see it together when it came out. I was crying in the theater. Like I was a total wreck and she was not she was fine she was like Natalie like this isn't us this is not our dynamic and I was like it is it's us it's the same we're exactly the same I'm Elsa and I think I'm a little dramatic <laughs> shocker I know but this movie was no different I was a mess watching it but I really enjoyed it and I'm really excited to share it all with you so without any further ado I think we should grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into the movie I'm not going oh, mom why is it so important that I go? Well, for one thing, it'd be nice if you just left the room. Oh. Um, Besides, these are your old friends. Oh, she's meeting up with friends? What, they used to play baseball? Are we gonna do like a flashback? Now remember, no matter what your brother does, he's littler than you are. So give him a chance to shoot, promise? Yeah. Okay. Bobby, come here. Kill him. <laughs> She's a sporty woman, sporty grandma. Oh! <laughs> you know, that whole time I was thinking to myself, wow, this looks really familiar, but I always feel that way with every movie with any kind of vaguely familiar Appalachian forest and like farmland. I always think I'm in upstate New York. So I was like, oh, don't say it, Natalie, because you always say it. Well, I didn't say it and we were in upstate New York. So that's funny. Harvey's promotional whiz kid, Ira Lowenstein, has been given the job of figuring out how to keep baseball going. How would you keep baseball going if all the players are in the army? Oh, we did flashback. Hey, why we didn't stay in Cooperstown for very long. Oh, we put women in the game. That's how we did it. Oh, well, if she pitches inside, you're going to have to pull it. Okay. I know. Let her up. She's trying to help. No high ones. She's just trying to help. I like the high ones. Mule. Neck. <laughs> wow. Is this what, so this is how they kept baseball going? That's cool. <laughs> Too high, I know. I really recognize this actress that's like trying to tell her what to do. <laughs> and this guy too. Oh, I've seen him in so much. Dottie, this is the woman who, the grandma. Kit was her sister, which is why they're bantering. Dottie's gonna be good, I bet. Ball, okay, good. Look at that self-control. Nice. Woo, good job, girly. Kit, why can't you be beautiful like that sister of yours, what Dottie? idiot said that? No one. But I know that's what they were thinking. No, it's not. Oh, poor Kit. I do feel bad for her. It's not your sister's fault that she's beautiful and talented, okay, but. Mitch Swaley likes you. Mitch Swaley is one step up from dating pig. What? An important step. An important step. <laughs> oh my god, Dottie. Poor kid is actually mad and Dottie just thinks it's funny. <laughs> I gotta look up the cast, guys. Sorry, that's gonna bother me. I've seen this woman so many times and I can't think of her name. Oh, Gina what? Davis, duh. It said it in the title cards, but I just wasn't what? thinking. And John Lovitz is this guy. Oh, Thelma and Louise. That's what I've seen her in. My god, I'm an idiot. Okay, sorry. Well, I'll go. I'm ready, I'm ready right now. I gotta sign something. I don't want you. Oh, that's so mean. 
She's a pitcher. She just didn't pitch today because she pitched the day before. Well, thanks for that extra special glimpse into her life. I want you. I bet she's going to say, I'm only going to go if you take her. Oh, come on. What do you say? Are you in? No, thanks. Oh, come on, Dottie. You got to do it. Now, look. I know the goods when I see the goods. And she's the goods. That's so mean. Hmm. The mooing while he's squeezing her arm. Shut up! But don't yell at the cows. They live here. You're a pitcher, huh? Oh, now he wants to see her pitch. Now that he felt her arm. If she comes, you can come too. If you stink, it'll only cost us a train ticket. She's got to convince Dottie, yeah. But can't you just have this first? Just so you can say you once did something? Something special? Huh? No. Goodness sake, kid. Keep your voice down. I wonder what these... I got to get out of here. What her parents are going to... Yeah. I'm nothing here. Yeah, she does. She she hates it here. But I, I wonder what the family is going to do because the family's so dependent on kids helping run the farm, you know? And if they don't have anybody else and all the men are gone at war, then it's like, oh, uh, well, Who's going to milk the cows? Stop! Oh, they're trying to catch a train. She can run with her hat staying on the whole time. That's really impressive. Yeah. Oh, she got to let herself fade back every time. Oh, she's taking the bags. Got to look at another girl. Hope you're not jealous. Oh, we're recruiting along the way. Indoor baseball. Yeah, I was going to say, that seems like a bad idea. Take off your hat, honey. Oh, oh. Oh, poor girl. She's so nervous. We'll let you know. What? You're going to say it's all about looks? She's good. Oh. That is so mean. That is so mean. No, you need to cast her or hire her, whatever the term is. Recruit her. I don't She's know. She's great. Why not? What's the problem? She's incredible. You know General Omar Bradley? Well, there's too strong a resemblance. Doesn't matter. Don't you want a good baseball player? Don't you want to win? That's stupid. Oh, she, she... Are Come they going to demand? I'm not kidding. Let's go. Move. Nope. No, they're not going to go. They're going to be determined. I know my girl ain't so pretty as these girls. Yeah, that's mean. But that's my fault. No, it's not anybody's fault. Oh my God, Th this poor woman. And she's damn good. Don't make my little girl suffer because I messed up raising her. You didn't mess up raising her. The society is f***ed up. It's not you. Uh, I wish you had a decent mitt. And now she's got to leave her dad. Her dad can't come. It's sad. Don't you worry about me. You're going to play baseball. Oh, I'm already crying over these two. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not going to know anybody. Come on, I think those two girls are going to be your friend, honestly. They looked like ready to fight for you just from seeing your bat. You got to go where things happen. Oh, their relationship is so cute. I want to cry. Are you coming? Come on. See how it works is the train moves, not the station. <laughs> I think having John Lovitz as this guy is so perfect. <laughs> it is so schmucky. It's great. What a good dad. Oh, oh, oh with, the, <laughs> with the patriotic American flag overlaid in, in the train. So moving. You know, they got over 100 girls here, so um, some of you are going to have to go home. Yeah, sorry about that. Come on, Doris. I bet y'all will end up on the same team. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, some of them are going home. Hey, how did you do that? <laughs> They go, wait a minute. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. We want to be friends with you. <laughs> Careers in higher education are leading to the masculinization of women. With enormously dangerous consequences to the home, the children, and our country. Oh, it's dangerous, I say. Dangerous. I think the real crime is they didn't have appropriate sports bras at this time for some of the bigger gals. That's all I'm thinking about when they're running because uh, uh, I can relate. <laughs> Sorry, that was what came to my mind. Your name will be on one of those five lists. Okay, find your name. Man, that's got to be sad. Oh, God. I would just wait, honestly. I would just wait at this point. Can you imagine, like, not seeing your name? It would be heartbreaking. Yes! Oh. Yay, Kit! I'm a Oh, she's waiting. Look at her. She waited. You all have to get fitted for your uniform. And this is what they're gonna look like. Pretty darn nifty if you ask me. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You can't slide in that. You can't slide in that, yeah. Of course they're all upset. Each of you will have regular classes at Charm and Beauty School. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Eh. <laughs> This is so dumb. You want them to be good at base? Oh God, poor, what's her name? Girl we picked up in Colorado. This is so ridiculous. You can't expect them to be amazing baseball players and competitive in baseball and then still be like in etiquette classes and playing in a dress. Like it's so dumb. Heads up. <laughs> Girl, breathe. Relax the shoulders a little bit. You're gonna be fine. Legs always together. A lady reveals nothing. <laughs> A lady reveal <laughs> A lady reveals nothing except if she's playing baseball in a dress. She'll reveal a lot. Jimmy, come on. Tom Hanks. I'm thinking of giving you another managing job. Oh well, uh, Mr. Harvey, I guarantee you that I'll do a better job than last time. What? It's like he got a little piece of paper from shaving. He looks like he's broken down, limping down the stairs. What's going on with this guy? Are you still a fall down drunk? Oh. Yes, I see. No, sir, I've uh, I've quit drinking. He's definitely still a drunk. He showed up here like moving around kind of erratically. He's got paper on his face from shaving still. Just be careful. If, if anything happens to that car, George will come all the way back from the Pacific and kill me. Oh my God, he is hammered. Don't give it to him. Wow. Do something, mate. Time him at least. Time him at least. Oh. That house. How long? I ain't gonna ask again. He's not done yet. I can ask you again. He's not done yet, Doris. What? Batting second and playing third base, number 22. My God, dude. Can you pay attention a little bit? Okay, let's see if Jimmy Dugan gives it a green light on 3-0 and or gives it a take side. Dugan's taking a nap. <laughs> yeah, daddy. Cream cheese out of that one. Nice job. Victory lap. Man, I hate baseball in real life, but in a movie, when you cut out all the boring parts, it's fun. A three run pass for Dottie Henson, and Rockford wins it five to two. Oh, yeah, now you're paying attention, huh, Dugan? <laughs> I smile, wave my little hat, and I did that. So when do I get paid? Oh my God. He is so unlikable. I haven't got ball players. I've got girls. Oh, Jesus. Girls want to sleep with after the game. And I'm not with your coach during the game. Wow. <gasps> if we paid you a little bit more, Jimmy, could you be just a little more disgusting? Well, I could certainly use the money. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He's. I feel like this is the least likable character I've ever seen Tom Hanks play. Alice Skeeter Gasper says legging out a triple is no reason to let your nose get shiny. Oh my god. She's also an accomplished coffee maker. Like, look, they're still subservient. They still care about their looks and homemaking. And how about Marla Hoot? Poor Marla. We filmed her from far away. What a hitter. Oh, Marla. Poor Marla. Oh my god. Oh, okay. <laughs> They got a good band here down at the Sudsbug. Oh my God, and good dancers. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Doris flipped the guy, that's funny. I love that. <laughs> yeah, you did, I saw it. <laughs> my father owned the dance hall upstate. She was one of the dancers, I was a bouncer. Oh my God. Apparently everybody else here was a dancer too. Oh my God, wow, hey, that was fun. I was not expecting to get a swing dance number in this movie, that's amazing. You wish me to be glad, just to be sad, thinking of you. She's a singer! What did you do to her? Well, not that we just gave her a dress. We gave her a dress, <laughs> she's good. It had to be you. Oh. It's funny, she sounded better when we weren't focused on her. <laughs> I think we were alternating between her and somebody else. It had to be you. Okay, babe. Oh, well, he's in love. He's smitten. I sing it to Nelson. Uh, yes. You sure are. Yeah, he loves her. That's great, but we gotta go. Any something could make me be blue. Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Nice job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have good players. <laughs> oh 
my god. You got to squeeze butt with our best hitter. What's the sign of swing away? Now he's starting to f coach. Now all of a sudden he's coaching. She understands what that meant? I have no idea what he just said. Oh, oh. They're all saying different things. Come on! What the f are you guys saying? The goddamn manager. I am. All of a sudden. Act like it, you big lush. Yeah, act like it. Yeah, you have you have not earned any f respect. Way to go, whatever your name is. Tom! Oh my god, he's doing such a good job of being so unlikable. Gra gra grabbed. Grabbed. Oh, we're teaching her to read. Uh, mil 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 milky, milky, white, white, milky, white. May, what'd you give her? Yeah, wait, what did you give her to read? It make she's reading. Ah! May, May's hilarious. Breath. It gets really good after that, Luke. <laughs> It'll motivate her. I mean, <laughs> it'll motivate her to read. <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying? There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Why don't you leave her alone, Jimmy? Oh, you zip it, Doris. There's no crying in baseball. Okay, okay, we get it. <laughs> treat each of these girls as you would treat your mother. You want to ever tell you look like a with a little hat on? Oh You're out of here! Oh, no, right no, no, now, no, Jimmy, you, I heard you that! Misunderstood. <laughs> and you misunderstood me! You misunderstood me! They're all like, yeah, get our coach out of here. We hate him. <laughs> That's f***ing hilarious. Yeah. I'm in charge now. All right. <laughs> oh, my God. What a mess. He's a mess. So if you're in the area, and you must be in the area, because this isn't a very powerful radio station, come on down to the ballpark. There's like nobody here for this game. Ladies, there's a, a reporter and a photographer in the stands from Life Magazine. Uh, Dottie, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get them to do a story about you. Oh? Because you're the queen of diamonds. That's what I'm calling you. Well, did you tell them anything about me? Oh. Oh, yeah, I sure did, kid. I, I told them how at first the scout didn't even want you. Uh -huh. uh, but how Dottie wouldn't come without her kid sister. That's not a great... Okay, she didn't want to hear that, bruh. Well, you just try to give them something spectacular out there. To, uh, I don't know. Uh, anything. <laughs> what, why? What's the matter? Because the league's about to collapse financially. Just give them everything you've got. You always do. I mean, playing your heart out isn't going to matter if there's no one in the stands. Pops it up. Foul. Henson should have no trouble with this. She's under it. Oh, she did give it her all. Look at her. She played that up for the cameras. I don't know. I just thought it might help the league. Oh, my goddamn circus. <laughs> She's right. It is going to help the league. God knows we have a game. God knows we have a game. Any of this helps, Blue. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, it worked. Catch a foul, get a kiss. Oh my God, but Dottie is married. Dottie won't hit a foul, it'll be fine. All right, well, all this marketing's working. 22! Yeah. Aw, Doris, yeah, you can get some men. 22! Oh. Are they getting married? Oh my God. Damn, Marla. Aw. I love you. I'm not gonna lie, that was a weird way to kiss your dad. <laughs> I didn't think that was her dad at first. That was a lot of lip kissing. <laughs> a lot of ball players use it. Tobacco? At least he's acknowledging she's a ball player now. Oh, she got a bite at the guy's hot dog? That's amazing. Uh -oh. she? Hey! She is too good! Oh, Kit's getting jealous, though. Kit, you haven't got a curveball left, okay? You I don't have a curveball left! You know what, sister? Tension. Tension's building between the sisters. I mean, yeah, jealousy. And I'm starting to see the reason why maybe Kit and Dottie haven't seen each other in a while. Sisterly competition and... You got Betty Spaghetti already? Come in. Come on, coach. I've never been taken out before. Ask Dottie. What do you think? Well, you know, she's, uh... She's battling. 
She thinks she should be pulled out, but she doesn't want to say it. She's done. She's throwing grapefruits at Oh, no. Oh, wow. If, if, if it's not your day, it's not your day. It's nothing personal. What's the matter, kid? You too big to finish your own games now? <laughs> she doesn't want to hear it right now. Oh, Doris. I mean, Kit. Hey! Oh, God. Guys, don't fight. There's cameras here. I don't know what she did it for. She just she was in a gaming state. Come on, we gotta take. Hey, why don't you please, shut up, Helen? Right? You're making them more upset, okay? Hey, really? You did roast her and, and rag on her, but it. I mean, doesn't mean that she deserved to get <laughs> attacked. All I know is you could have backed me up today, instead of holding me back. I hold you back. Kit, that's just not true. It's like if you're here, then I'm not here. I mean, I understand that she feels that way. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I know I'm wrong. I know you're right and I'm wrong. I know that. I just... You... She just can't live up to her sister's legacy. She, it's got to be so tough living in her shadow. Why do you got to be so good? Huh? Hey, kid. It sucks because she like can't... She can't even have a conversation with her about it because she doesn't really have a right to be mad, but she's just upset living in her sister's shadow, which is a really relatable feeling. Barbland, you want to go to the movies with me? You want to go with me? What? I've been traded to Racine. You? I, I told them to trade me. Oh, yeah, they'd really trade you. Miss Star, Miss Perfect. You know exactly what was going to happen. She really didn't, babe. Quit, okay? I'll quit. Is that what you want? Well, how can she win, babe? Just leave me alone. That's what I want you to do. Oh my God. The only reason you're here is because of your sister. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh God, is it a letter for Dottie? A telegram from one of you ladies from the war department? Oh no. Oh God, all the joy got sucked out of the room. The least the army could do is send someone personally tell your husband's dead. Oh my God. Darn, I had the name right here. Dude. Well, now I gotta go back and get this straightened out. You idiot. Just open the f telegram. I don't have a name on the checklist. Bro, you can't keep him waiting. This is from the War Department. Come you on. Well, you're an imbecile and suck at your job. So you forfeited that telegram when you showed up unprepared. She knows it's for her. She knows it's for her. You could tell the way she sat down. Oh, it's, is it Dottie or Sorry, no? Betty. It's Betty. Oh, sh Okay, all right, it wasn't Dottie. Whoa, what a plot twist. They really misled me there. How is she going to play after this? And Betty's the pitcher, isn't she? <laughs> oh, my God. George! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm not okay. Wow. Come on. I don't want to cry. Oh, yay. That's f***ed up. That guy couldn't have waited with the telegram until <laughs> after the game. It's not like it would have made a difference. He didn't have the information anyway. <clears throat> Come in. Oh, he came. Oh! Cutie. Oh, her husband. Oh my God, on the same day. Bob, what happened? I mean, I think he got off pretty fine. All things considered, babe. It was a sniper. A sniper got you in the foot. I almost forgot how beautiful you are. Oh no, I look terrible. I you look beautiful. Babe, you could never look terrible, ma'am. The thing is, I think she still wants to play baseball though, despite everything that's happened. Dottie, write to us, we'll miss you. We will, thanks. Good luck in the World Series. Did she not tell Jimmy? What the f You can't just abandon your team. This is ridiculous. If I was her husband, I'd be like, you gotta finish what you started and then you come home and then we go home together. It is only a game, Jimmy. It's only a game and, and I don't need this. I have Bob, I don't need this, I don't. Do you want it? Chicken Dottie, you want to go back home to Oregon and make a hundred babies? Great, I'm in no position to tell anyone how to live. But sneaking out like this, quitting. Yeah, it's quitting on your team. Baseball is what gets inside you. It's what lights you up. You can't deny that. It just got too hard. It's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. The hard is what makes it great. That's true. You can say that about anything. At the very least, finish what you started. Finish off the season. Go to the World Series. Come on. I can't believe she's not going to go to the World Series. I can't believe. <gasps> and it's versus her sister. And you're not going to go? Come on. We brought you these also. <laughs> For me? There you go. She has groupies. Look at her. She got options. Oh, I forget like. With the World Series, it's not just one game. It's going to be like multiple games. So she could maybe join in for the last one. It's neck and neck. 
looking over there and not seeing her sister. Although I guess that would have been the case every other game. You tell me. You tell me right away. You understand me? Do you hear me? Yeah, you're screaming. I hear you. Huh? What just... What? What the f***? Well, we got as far as Yellowstone Park and turn back. What? She came back? What? She came back for the last game and then pranked him? That was kind of anticlimactic. Hell, I think if you want to play, I... You can play. Well, then I'll play. Okay. <laughs> Why are we playing this game, guys? Come on. Hey, Jimmy. You look like s. <laughs> Don't you ever shave? <laughs> We're gonna win. We're gonna win! <laughs> I love Doris's Staten Island accent. You out, Brenda! Evelyn! Oh boy. Uh oh, Evelyn, you're in trouble. He's trying so hard to not scream Still at her. Still missing the cutoff man. Now that, that, that's something that I would like you to work on before next season. <laughs> Alright, thanks. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> he wants to scream at her so bad! Ooh, he's going to die. <laughs> I like it's tough cuz I I like feel bad for Kit. I want Kit to like do well, but I want the Peaches to win, you know. This is so sad. The Peaches are down to their final out. Oh boy. Scoring position and big Dottie Henson. It's of course it's gonna be Dottie against Kit. Of course. Oh my god. Man, I feel like this is gonna be sad no matter what. That's why like we need to have the reunion when they're older to have a somewhat happy ending, because I feel like this is gonna be sad. Oh, fight me on the button, call me an apple. She nearly took her head off. Murphy, she will score. And Russell is taking the lead. Yeah, it is your wife. Hey, he's like, I am so proud of her. See, she could have just stayed. She didn't have to even drive anyway to Oregon. Oh, Kit. Oh, she's losing it. Come on, it's okay. You got a bat now. Relax. Oh, she's breaking down after going up against Dottie. Kit, it's not over. Oh, my God. She's a mess. Did she get it? She got it. Is she okay? I feel like she got hurt from that. That's insane. Is she okay? You go, go. There you go. She's fine. Well, she looks, she's a little tired, but damn. Kit is having a panic attack, bro. Oh, she's gonna go hit. Oh, Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, yes! Yes, thank you, boy! Don't, don't strike, babe. You gotta remember what she told you. Oh, Kit. I feel like no matter what, this is a lose-lose scenario. Swing and a strike two. You gotta lay off of it when it's high. Here's the pitch. She got it that time. She got it that time. Good job. It falls in there. No one will get to this ball. She got it. Nice job, Kit. I'm so proud of her. I didn't want her to lose like that, man. Oh, is she gonna? Oh my God. She's not stopping. Oh my God, it's sister versus sister. Oh, the slow-mo. She ran her over. It's the drama. She dropped the ball. Wow. Isn't it tied up though? The game is over? Oh, she won it. I wonder if Dottie was conflicted about what to do. And I wonder if she let go of that ball intentionally. Like she couldn't handle it. The idea of not letting her sister get that. She very easily could have just tapped the base. I mean, she had the ball long enough. Yeah, she's happy looking at her sister. Look, I'm going back to the hotel and then Bob and I are driving back to Oregon. You're welcome to come with us. I don't think she wants to. I, I, I don't know. I, but you're coming back next year, right? No. Uh, I want to have kids. We want to have kids. Dottie, you got plenty of time to have kids. You couldn't give this up. You'd miss this too much. Miss it? <laughs> yeah, I miss putting on all this gear. Get slammed into every other day by base runner. I think I'm going to miss that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I miss the girls. I miss you, Kat. Me? No! <laughs> Thank God! I don't want to cry! <laughs> There's no crying in baseball! <laughs> yeah, like, she loves you still, dude. No. Okay, good. I'm glad we're not, like, leaving each other in a fight. Oi. Thank you for getting me into the league, Daddy. No. Oh. You got yourself in the league. True, you got you did do tryouts all on your own, so yeah, you earned that spot. I love you. Oh my god! Now we're gonna see them all old together. I didn't think this was gonna be a movie about like sisterly love, dude. I'm getting really emotional. Cause I just have one younger sister. Oh, flash forward. Wow, a little reunion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is I'm, this is so wholesome. I can't. So you know what's called me that since last night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but <big> time. <laughs> and marriage. You haven't changed one bit. Daddy, I married a plastic surgeon. <laughs> Good for you, girl. <laughs> Daddy. Hmm? Is that Marla? I can't even tell. Marla. Marla, okay, my god. At this point, I'm like, I don't even know because we have different actors now. How's Bob? He's, uh... When? Just this winter. Oh, recently. Oh my god, okay. Well, that's good. At least they lived a long life together. Did he pass away? Yeah. Thank you for that <laughs> zoom in, cinematographer. That makes sense, because it would be hard. This movie was made a while back. It'd probably be hard to age up Tom Hanks convincingly, so. We're all for one, we're one for all. That's Kit. And they found a very comparable actor. I wonder, when was the last time they saw each other? It couldn't have been like decades. That would be messed up. <laughs> Sorority squat. Good, good job, girls. <laughs> they all squatted on cue so perfectly. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that's why May was such a good dancer. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. To be fair, it, uh, like, it's not like I really grew up watching Madonna or listening to Madonna that much. Like, I know some of her iconic songs. And to be fair, Madonna looks nothing like she used to look. She's gone, undergone so much plastic surgery at this point that she's completely unrecognizable. But holy <laughs> I didn't realize that was her. <laughs> That's funny. This movie was so much more heartwarming than I really expected. I think because I didn't know much about it going into this, I thought it was going to be more comedic and I didn't really realize it was going to be based off of history and based off of a true story and have so much sentimentality to it. I really was not expecting it to be serious in any way, shape or form. I was expecting just purely comedy because I really didn't know anything about the film. And in some ways I got a little more than I bargained for, but I think it was really sweet, really beautiful, really Really well done. The actors all did a great job playing the parts that they were given and making each and every one of these players feel so lively and charismatic and easy to latch on to and easy to love. Really the only person who was super dislikable was Tom Hanks' character, which was so interesting because I feel like I'm so used to seeing him in mostly likable characters. I've seen him in some characters before that maybe weren't super likable, but for the most part, the things that I've seen him in, he's very charming or very lovable or very comforting. And this was not that. I liked getting to see a totally different color from him. I mean, he's incredible. He's just great at what he does. So he was fun to watch despite him being a jerk for half of the movie. I think the film did a great job of balancing a lot of levity and comedic fun, lively moments with some more serious topics like receiving a telegram during wartime and knowing that that's going to be horrible news or familial tensions and like sisterly competition and that feeling of living in a sibling's shadow, which is really relatable to a lot of people. And a lot of that just was so heartbreaking. I mean, I cried a lot more than I was really expecting to in this movie. It was just really moving and really sweet. This was also just such a good movie to watch during Women's Month too. I really wasn't planning that at all. It just kind of happened naturally. I just did a sports poll <laughs> over on Patreon and this ended up winning. And um, I'm really glad that I watched it for this month. It's a nice reminder for in some ways how far we have come in terms of opportunities for women in different fields and different industries. But at the same time, there still are a lot of barriers and there still is a lot of sexism that women have to face on a daily basis. And seeing how different it was then and how much more extreme it was, it's just a good thing to revisit from time to time. And I think 
this movie did a good job of really showing that in a way where they're just telling the story of what actually happened, but you're seeing it from the perspective of some men who really do care about these ladies like Ira and his whole dialogue with Mr. Harvey. Like, what are you going to do? You're just going to send these women back to where they came from. They gave up everything to keep this industry alive while all these men were at war. We brought them into the factories. We told them they needed to step it up and join the workforce. And now you're just going to send them home like they're nothing. It's a really important perspective to see in media because I think it's easy to forget sometimes how how much has changed in recent decades and a lot of that sentiment still does exist I mean I I know a lot of people who personally don't watch a lot of women's sports because they think it's pointless and there's still a lot of work to do in that respect but a lot of things have gotten so much better and it really does put things into perspective a lot to go back and look at what a lot of women had to fight for back in the 40s or 50s. Truth be told, I didn't even know this movie existed until y'all were suggesting this one to me. So I probably would have gone my whole life without even knowing about it if it weren't for you guys. And it's times like this when I am really grateful to have a YouTube channel where I get to dive into content like this because truly it was just not on my radar and I did not know about it. So thank you so much for this suggestion. Anyway, Anyway, I really hope y'all enjoyed watching this one with me. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up so that I know and I can check out more stuff like this in the future with all of y'all. Of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or anything else you might like me to check out next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.